Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. Your boy Bill Nipperson is back with another quick video. Today we got the Yeezy Slide Flax in the house because I do want to do some color comparisons, show you some differences between the first generation of Yeezy Slides and the second kind of generation of Yeezy Slides. Go in there and give you a little demonstration of how much bounce back you can actually get off a slide and why it's beneficial to you, much like I did with the Yeezy 450s. Now granted, these are shoes that I know a lot of people just have mixed feelings about because it doesn't look good, blah, blah, blah. I heard it was jail shoes, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, it comes down to this, right? So when you age, right, you want comfort. You want stability on your back. You want to feel every footstep you take, right? So sometimes you wear slides that might be extremely hard. Pause. But you get what I'm saying? And sometimes you're looking for comfort. So each step you're taking, we take a lot of steps per day. Uh, and sometimes comfort can help, not just with your feet, but also with your, your muscles uh, and your knees, et cetera, et cetera. So with that said and done, not going to take too much of your time, but you do have the Yeezy Slide box. Standard box, you've probably seen a whole bunch of them. I used to have a bunch of Yeezy boxes right here. I had to get rid of them because I had so many Yeezys in terms of 350, 450s, slides. You get the whole point. But this is the slide. Now, I saw this shoe because my wife has it. She got her pair before I did. And the brown, I can tell you right now, it looks like a true brown. I know the suit that came out not too long ago, eh, it, it's kind of close. It's more so close to the Yeezy Slide Ochres that came out. I think it was December. Don't hold me to that. And the colorway, it was kind of brownish, but it's kind of not. So I'm curious to see how mine looks. I just want to make sure it's that true brown, like the Crayola crayon, you know, the whole Crayola crayon brown, I should say. When you take it out the box, standard color brown. So slide out of the drawer. You know, every easy slide is hoagie wrapped multiple times. Look, there's no mystery to this. But again, let me take a look at it real quick. Now, depending on who you ask, when it comes to easy slides, it was going to make that fart sound. <laughs> um, some people like the first generation better. What I mean by that is you can tell the difference between the way the texture feels on the Yeezy slide. I know both of them use EVA foams, but the EVA foam on the first generation, um, there was no type of uh, feeling to it. It was pretty much just smooth, right? So they added these grooves inside. And you'll see a video right here of what I'm talking about. They added these grooves in the second generation, and you've seen it with second releases right the green glow if you got the first generation again it's more so of a smooth feel but the second generation slides have the grooves in them i think from a lot of people are saying that some people you know it, it, the first generation you would slide more and this is supposed to create more traction towards the ground so for those that are wondering the closest that i have to the yeezy slide flax is the yeezy slide pures now just to give you an idea of what you're looking at in terms of a color difference, because I know some people are saying, like, you know what, if I have the ochres, do I really need the, the flax? Personally, it's personal preference, right? So like, this is like, to me, this reminds me, <laughs> I think my wife called it a Tootsie Roll. I mean, keep it a buck. Uh, one of the benefits for, for having a Yeezy slide, especially in a dark colorway such as this, is that when it comes to markings, granted, when you have a Yeezy slide, the EVA foam that's injected, I think, if I'm not mistaken, with recycled material, it's easy to clean. It really is. Like, you can take these, these slides, throw them in the sink, scrub it down with soap and water, and just call it a day. Um, but when it comes to certain colorways, certain slides stand out more than others when it comes to marks. So, like, the green glows, I find myself washing, you know, every once in a while because it can get messed up. Um, when it comes to the pures, that's the same case. But a dark colorway such as this you're really, very rarely going to see marks. And honestly, if you're looking at the bounce back, kind of kind of like what I was talking about with the whole Yeezy 450 and showing you guys a demonstration. If you haven't catched that video, go check it out. It's pretty informal. Uh, but you can see like the, the bottom, the way it's structured. The reason why it's, do it's done that way is the weight that you're pushing towards on the Yeezy EVA foam is, is basically squished in, right? So you're, you're, you're going to see this just squished. However, it's holding your weight. So each step you take, just think of these like springs, right? So it's just, you're, you're basically creating pressure towards the bottom of the slide, and these are basically just sliding back, right? So it gives you like a, a spring-like design. I don't know if I can show you this, like hopefully you can see this 
as I'm trying to demonstrate, but pressure on these, the whole point of this is to create like a bounce back, a natural bounce back of your foot, but comfort, right? So you can see how it bounces back so easily. So each step that you take in the easy slide, it makes it so comfortable on top of the foam where you can see, maybe you can and cannot see it, but towards the, I want to say the heel, there's a bump right where the Adidas sign is. That bump is there to help stability on your heel. And then there's like a, I want to say a groove, like a slight groove as you go towards the toe area on the slide, which basically provides comfort for the, the ball of your foot. And quite frankly, if I'm not mistaken, you'll probably, I'll, see, I'll probably put a picture here because this angle is going to be kind of hard to get. But if you get your easy slides, they used to come in the box and the tag, Adidas tag with the size and tag, but then they transitioned this with the second generation where they just slap a sticker on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm pretty sure if they kept this true, that there is a marking inside that does show Yeezy. You'll see a picture right here. Uh, and of course it'll say, well, this is made in China. I know a lot of people check to see which uh, geological graphication, graphication, did I say graphication? <laughs> which geological <laughs> location these shoes are made of and they try to determine whether it's fake or real. But quite frankly, if you don't know, most Yeezys are, are pretty much manufactured different parts of the world, China, India, I mean, even in the US when it comes to the Yeezy foams, for those that didn't know. Um, so, you know, don't take that with a grain of salt, but it does have markings inside. Of course, this is a size 13. This is my natural size. And I would suggest going a full size up from your normal size. You want to give your actually a half size or a full size. I go full size perfectly um, just because you want enough room in the footbed portion towards the toe. You know, I know it's wide enough, but to feel that ultimate cushion, you, you got you to gotta go at least a half size or a full size up depending on the shape of your foot. But your boy, Bill Nemesis, man, comment below. Let me know what you think about the Yeezy Slide Flex because quite frankly, when it comes to the colors, the darker the color, the less the marks. But, you know, of course, the lighter the color, it's going to pop. And I think the flex just dropped out of my hand. But your boy, Bill Nemesis, man, I am off. I'm going to do that quick on feet for the slide, you know, just to show the people about especially that that whole traction pattern that you can see right there on the bottom and kind of demonstrate how your weight the whole weight counters the bottom and the eva foam is structured to mold towards your feet boy maleficent i am out you guys stay blessed